The sniper is the most hated class in TF2, and understandably so. In a game of short to medium range, the sniper is the only class in the game who can do significant burst damage from any distance. As a result, without a meaningful way to fight back, the only practical solution to sniper is to entirely avoid him. But playing hide and seek with the sniper is a flawed interaction. Even if you had the awareness to look out for the sniper's dot whenever you are about to cross into a new area, what can you do when you just can't see the dot? Deciding which doorway to use also becomes a frustrating game of luck, hoping the doorway you picked doesn't lead you to an area held down by a sniper. So what if the sniper's line of sight was made visible? A line that traces from where bullets originate down their crosshair. I found 23 random hobos and asked them to join my TF2 server. Here's what I learned. The beam was enough to make playing against the sniper actually fun and not frustrating. It seems that the problem with sniper in regular TF2 is really more to do with the fact that we can't interact with him. When you walk out into the open air of harvest, all you can do is hope that he's not looking, and then hope that he misses. Besides desperately mashing movement keys, we don't have any real way to influence what ends up happening. The beam changes this. First, the guessing game is dead. If you come to an opening, you can quickly spot for any beams in the area, and then make a choice on how to proceed. You can choose to entirely avoid them and rotate somewhere else, or continue forward at your discretion. Dying under these circumstances felt completely fair, since I knew exactly what I was in for and chose to take the risk anyways. Directly engaging the sniper has also improved. Being able to see how the sniper is aiming makes it possible to literally dodge the bullet. You can see how to move to make it harder to land a shot on you. In close proximity, you can slip past the beam to challenge them, or take advantage of their poor crosshair placement. For non-snipers going up against a sniper, the beam essentially balances what was once an interaction incredibly stacked in the sniper's favor. From the sniper's perspective, it's obviously more challenging than before. Sniper players reported that scoping down a doorway or area and waiting for people to show up wasn't viable anymore. Instead, they were basically forced to go for difficult quick headshots to get anything done. Of course, snipers also had to be more aware of their positioning and move around more often, otherwise spies or flankers would kill them. Overall, the beam didn't completely ruin sniper as a class, and it also made fighting him more interactive, so it could be a decent change. Sniper is cringe.